The Cabinet Minister, who is the subject of a rape allegation, will make a statement later today after being shielded by Canberra for more than a year. The police investigation seems to have been common knowledge, but the Prime Minister thought it was fine for this person to keep serving as a senior government representative. Please let me know in the comments if you know of someone who retained their position on the front bench while being investigated for fraud or a non-sexual violent crime. The Prime Minister also claims he was not told of an allegation of rape occurring in Parliament House. And he was so upset by this uh, that he's launched an in inquiry into who knew what and when, but not so upset that he sacked anyone who knew and didn't tell him. Why have accountability and consequences when you can have plausible deniability? I want to thank the people, overwhelmingly women, who report rape and sexual assault committed against them, overwhelmingly by men. Making these reports often comes at great personal cost, especially when the perpetrator is powerful. These last few weeks have been harrowing for people who see something familiar in these high profile cases, and it's been disturbing more generally for people who know that we need more accountability in the places where our laws are made. I'm appalled that there is no safe mechanism for parliamentary staffers to report misconduct, but of course there isn't. And I'm pessimistic about the prospect of positive change from this do-nothing government, whose main aim seems to be protecting mates no matter what they've done. We need a new political culture of accountability, and to achieve that, we need to ditch the old political class entirely.